Welcome to Red Top 5 channel. Here are 5 of the most dangerous. So do not go anywhere and be with us. Hello and welcome to the Red Top 5 channel. Please subscribe us and if this video is interesting for you press the like button and leave your comments for us in the comments section. 5 Largest Grasshoppers in the World Grasshoppers are one of the world's oldest species, having originally emerged 250 million years ago during the Triassic period. They are often considered a fortunate emblem. They are herbivorous insects that number more than 11,000 species worldwide, with many more believed to remain unknown. But what is the world's largest grasshopper? The appearance and size of grasshoppers can vary dramatically between species, from those that resemble butterflies to those that resemble leaves. Number 5 Large Marsh Grasshopper The giant marsh grasshopper is the largest grasshopper in the UK, and it may be found in damp marshes and meadows. They love to eat rushes and grass near the marshes, which is also where they deposit their eggs. The New Forest and portions of Dorset are currently the only places in the UK where large marsh grasshoppers may be found, while numbers elsewhere in the UK have plummeted owing to better land drainage. Males may grow up to 1 inch in length, but females are significantly bigger, reaching 1.5 inches in length. They are usually yellow or brown, although they may sometimes be a brilliant pink color. Number 4 Calyptomus Italicus Calyptomus Italicus is the next species on the list. It is a medium-sized grasshopper found in Central Asia, North Africa, and Western Europe. Males may grow to be 1.02 inches long, while females can grow to be 1.57 inches long. Calyptomus Italicus is a short-horned grasshopper with a shorter antenna than other grasshopper species. Their bodies are normally gray or brown, while their wings are crimson or pink. They, like other grasshoppers, are herbivores, meaning they exclusively consume plants, generally wild plants or crops. Number 3 Two-Striped Grasshopper The two pale stripes that run from their eyes to the tips of their front wings give the two-striped grasshopper its name. Their bodies are normally brown or green, with a black stripe running down their rear legs. Two-striped grasshoppers are typically found in North America and Canada and can grow to be 1 to 1.6 inches long. They devour a broad variety of plants and crops and are considered pests because of the harm they do. They do, however, have a number of predators, both in their egg stage and as adults, including tiny parasites, small mammals such as rats, and birds. Number 2 Northern Grass Pergamoth These grasshoppers, often known as vegetable grasshoppers, can grow to be 1.2 to 1.6 inches long. They are most often found in Australia's tropical and coastal regions, as well as in gardens in those locations. Their bodies are all green and thin at each end, giving them the appearance of a leaf. Northern grass pergamorphs looks are particularly beneficial since they do not attempt to flee from predators, instead relying on their camouflage to help them remain undiscovered. These grasshoppers like to consume wide, leafy plants and cause little damage in the places where they live. Number 1 Differential Grasshopper Differential grasshoppers are huge grasshoppers that reach 1.5 inches in length in males and nearly 2 inches in females. They are found in Canada, Central America, and Mexico. Their antennae are generally red or yellow, and they are brown or green in color. Differential grasshoppers vary from other grasshoppers in that their color darkens as they age, making it simple to distinguish between the young and the old. They frequently feed in swarms, causing significant harm to the crops they eat and hence being classified as a pest. This species' young grasshoppers, nymphs, develop significantly faster than most other grasshoppers, reaching maturity only 32 days after hatching. Thank you for being with us until the end of this video. If you like this video, please like it and press the subscribe button to support us. Also send us your comments and suggestions in the comments section or via email. We are happy to be able to improve the quality of our work according to your comments and suggestions. Goodbye.